What's going on YouTube, Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more Regulation F content for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we got ourselves Superior, the Gen 5 Grass Starter. Now this Pokemon in previous generations has never been that good in competitive. It's really just been lackluster and never been able to get anything going. But now in Scarlet and Violet, it gains access to a new ability and on top of that, Terror types, making it actually pretty viable on the rank scene. Now, if you guys do not know what Contrary does, that's its new ability. Any stat changes that go down, now go up, and anything that goes up, now goes down. Hopefully that makes sense. But you guys are probably wondering, why is that good? It's really good because Superior has access to Leaf Storm, which is a high damaging stat move that lowers your special attack by two stages. But with the Contrary ability, every time we use it, our special attack is going to get raised by two stages, making this Pokemon an absolute offensive juggernaut. Should be a lot of fun showcasing this Pokemon. We got leftovers as item with Terra Blast and the Fire Terror type, making it be able to soak up some moves. Then we got Giga Drain for HP recovery, stab, and then protect for our final move. Now this team has two other Regulation F Pokemon. We got Incineroar who is top tier in the meta, or is going to be top tier in the meta. And we also have Suicune, who is a Pokemon that I haven't really showcased yet in Regulation F, but I'm telling you guys, Suicune is going to be great. It's got high defensive stats, high special defensive stat, and on top of that, learns a great move set. Like we have here, we got Scald, Ice Beam, Tailwind, and Protect. Pretty cool. Other three Pokemon on this team feature Fluttermane, Thunderous, and Iron Hinge. You guys seen it plenty of times in the past, just solid Pokemon that make this team strong all around. But you guys know the deal, if you do enjoy the content, make sure you leave a like on today's video, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all of my Regulation F videos. But with that out of the way, let's get started here and hop into match number one. Loading into our first match, and want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Nico Gaming. Thank you so much for making this team a rental code and showcasing it. If you guys want to check out his channel, link will be down in the description below alongside with the Poke Pace. So again, if you guys want to see EVs, all that good stuff in depth, head down to the link in the description below. But we're hopping into our first match, and we're going up against a Spidops team. Really cool Pokemon. Spidops, brand new in Generation 9. Just such a cool Pokemon all around, but you don't really see it too much on the ladder. They also have Roaring Moon, Fluttermane, Iron Valiant, Mousehold, and I forget what that Pokemon's name is. I forget what that Pokemon's name is, but I know it's a normal type. It might be part fairy, but don't quote me on that. Do not quote me on that. But uh, Superior probably going to be our lead here. I want to showcase it. I want to get after it with it. But I also want to check out its stats. And look at those stats. Look at those stats. 168, yeah, 165 speed. I also have 121 special attack. Not too bad. It's pretty bulky. You can definitely take some shots. You can definitely take some shots, especially with that high speed. But our special attack is really going to get boosted once we start using Leaf Storms. So I'm going to go Superior. I'm also going to go in with Incineroar, just so we can get first turn fake out. On top of that, I think Suicune in the back end is going to be great. And Fluttermane is always solid. So let's lock those four in. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But Superior, I don't think I ever use it in competitive battles. Because if you guys haven't really watched my videos too much, I only started playing competitive in Sword and Shield, so pretty much two gens, and Superior was not Sword and Shield, so I actually never used this Pokemon in a competitive format, but I've seen videos, and I've seen the stats and all that, and you can definitely tell it was lackluster before, but again, contrary terror types now, should be looking pretty good, so we're going to lead it here with Incineroar, and that Pokemon looks so dope, Superior looking so dope, Intimidate's going to come out here, and I can't remember this thing's name. And of course, there's nicknames on, so I can't even see his name. But it's a straight normal type. Uh, we have access to fake out here. And you know what? I'm just going to pop a Leaf Storm here turn one. So I'm going to Leaf Storm, and I'm also just going to fake out the Mouse Hold. Right? Actually, no. We're going to double down on this thing. Mouse Hold doesn't really pose that big of a threat. Unless it's really going for Population Bombs, right? Could be maybe like double Population Bomb. That Pokemon looks like it learns it. But we end up going into our Leaf Storm. Going plus two on Special Attack. And he's going to go for a Tidy Up. And what did that just do? I honestly don't really know what that does. It boosts your attack stat. So this thing is end speed. Okay, you're looking scary. You are definitely looking scary. A bit too scary. I'm not even going to lie. You were looking a bit too scary. Um. So this thing looks like a pop bomb mouse hold, right? Speed's only plus one. Do we just attack it? I could protect and just party shot into it. And I think it's going to be my play. Protect superior. They know it's plus one special attack. Hopefully they feel as it's a target, so they're going to attack it. And then I just party shot away. 
Yes, good call by Jeans. Great call by Jeans. We're not playing around. I'm not playing around with that mouse hold. So when, what's now going to happen is Rock Blast is going to come over from this thing. We're going to be able to soak that up all day because we did Intimidate up. And of course you get a crit. And we have Citrus Berry, which is beautiful. Which is beautiful. I just love this moveset so much. But what we're going to do here is be able to Parting Shot out into the mouse hold. And I might even swap back into Incineroar next turn. Just so I can get the what's it called. Just so I can get the Intimidate off again. Not try and deal with that thing. He already outspeeds me. I think we just hard swap right back into Incineroar at this point. I definitely think it's our best bet. I definitely think it's our best bet to hard swap into Incineroar. We could go into Fluttermane here. Fluttermane's good, especially with booster energy. That could be good. But you know what? I don't want to show my Fluttermane just yet. I'm going to go into Suicune here. Suicune coming out here. So now, like I said, we're just going to go into another Leaf Storm here. Do as much damage as we can to the Mouse Hold. And we're just going to hard swap right back into Incineroar to drop both of their attack stats yet again. This is why Incineroar is ridiculously OP. Like, look at this control that we have on these Pokemon right here. They're both going to be minus two at this point. They can't really hit that hard. And we're just getting after them. It's lovely. It's beautiful. Then I can always fake them out next turn, too. Like, Incineroar's phenomenal. It's just so good. He's gonna tidy up again. That's totally fine. I'm attacking it at this point. And he is now even on attack and just plus two speed. Okay, nothing too crazy. We're gonna also tidy up. That, that's fine, that's fine. So the double tidy up here. They're looking just to get their stats back. That's fine. That's fine. But now I get off another big time Leaf Storm. And I take out Masshole, no problem, because I'm plus two, but now I'm plus four on special attack. So we are looking ridiculously strong. Ridiculously strong. And it already has a decently high uh, speed stat with like 165, I think I saw. This Pokemon is just a huge threat right now. Plus four. And I'm going into Iron Valley. Now with Iron Valley, this is going to boost your energy up. It's going to pop its Quirk Drive and it's going to get a boost in speed. So it's rather faster now. And I think we just attack it, right? What moves do you usually hold? A Fairy move, a Fighting move, and maybe a Ghost move? I'm going to double down into that. I'm going to fake it out and just look to get rid of it. I'm not too worried about Scarfs over here. He's minus one on attack. Let's just double down into the Iron Valiant. Let's just double right down into it. So Fake Out coming across. We're going to make it flinch. He's going to go next. He's going to Rock Blast and probably KO my Incident War. But still got off a ton of value already. Did some big damage on the Scarfs. Got some Intimidates out. And we're going to take out Iron Valiant here as well. And on top of that, go plus six on special attack first match with this pokemon we're going plus six on special attack picking up insane amount of ko's dude this thing is phenomenal i'm loving this thing i'm loving this thing i'm loving this thing oh my lord and we still have terra from here we could go into sweet and just try to pop a tailwind i think that's our best bet and just save Fluttermane for the back end everything works out perfectly it works out perfectly they end up going into warring moon um, from here we go Suicune, and I think we're just gonna protect my superior here, right? Because chances are they might terrestrialize and go for acrobatics. That'd be a big threat to superior, but look at that. Plus six on special attack. Oh my lord, I love this thing. I love this thing. So yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna protect. They're probably targeting that down. I'm gonna set up a Tailwind just to get more speed control for the squad. So, Superior with the Protect, Suicune is chilling in here. T another Tidy Up coming out here. So, this thing is looking just to get back into the battle. Roy Moon, you gotta be attacking that Superior, right? You gotta be going for an Acrobatics into that. You go for a Dragon Claw into it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So, they make the nice, lovely read there. And Suicune ends up setting up the Tailwind. So, now the real question is, who is faster? I mean, I should be faster than you, I know that. But honestly, I kind of just want to Terror Blast into somebody. You know, I'm just going to Giga Drain you. And I'm just going to go for an Ice Beam with this slot. I'm cool with that. Nice, lovely Ice Beam. I'm hoping my Superior does outspeed that thing, and it doesn't. But we might be able to soak up these shots here. Well, that's hitting hard. That's hitting hard, and I think this thing is loaded dice. Oh, and you get a crit. Come on, now. I'm definitely dead. Unless, hold up. Hold up. I love you, Suicune. 
I love Isui Kun. Like I said in the beginning of today's video, very bulky Pokemon. Great stats all the round. And you just seen it firsthand there. But Superior picking up yet another KO, being plus six. Ice Beam's gonna fly here. And how much damage is it gonna do? Maybe half? Close to half. Give me a freeze too. No freeze. Dragon Call now flies. You should soak. And that is gonna be the game. That's gonna be game. Beautiful. So Superior absolutely ripping. I think it picked up four KOs. It's gonna pick up four KOs. Actually, it might not KO you. It might not. I'll try. I'll go for Leaf Storm and I'll double down with Ice Beam. But I think they just cancel match and they don't. So Superior looking for its fourth KO and it gets it no problem. Even with a not very effective shot, this thing plus six is just ridiculously OP. When I first picked out this team, I knew Superior was going to be strong, but I did not expect it to be that strong. That was ridiculous. Incineroar helping us negate a lot of the physical attackers early, helping Superior set up, and we just ripped from there. Getting plus six on special attack and just KOing everything left and right with Leaf Storm. But we're hopping into our second match. We're going up against a Venusaur Sun team. They got nine tails with Chlorophyll Venusaur. Do we have weather control with you, Thunderous? Do we have rain dance with you? We don't. That's a little upsetting, but we do have Eerie Impulse. An Eerie Impulse is going to be good, especially up against special attackers. That is definitely going to be good. I could go superior here for the lead, but I feel like they just have a lot of fire Pokemon to kind of take me out. I do have the fire tire type, so that could definitely work pretty good for us. What other moves you got? You got Taunt, you got Scary Face, you got Eerie, Im Eerie Impulse is good. You know what? I'm going to go Thunderous here. I can always just Eerie Impulse my superior too. That is an option. That is an option. Just to go plus two on special uh, attack like that. Or I can go Scary Face. Ooh, that could work out well. That could definitely work out well. Huh. You know what? I'm going to go into Superior here. I'm going to lead that Pokemon. And I'm going to also go into Thunderous as a lead. In the back end, we're going to bring Fluttermane because I feel like we need a bit more special attack in. And Iron Hands could be good, especially for fake out purposes. Or I could just go Suicune, get a little bit of speed later on. Yeah, I'm going to go Suicune because Suicune's not bad. On the special attack side, it can still do a nice chunk of damage when need be. So, I like Suicune. I like it all around. It out bulk shots. You guys seen it was eating up those bullet seeds. Who was actually even or maybe plus one on attack stat at that point. But we'll see. We'll see. But yo, another Pokemon that I really want to showcase. I need a team for it. Blastoids. Looking for a Blastoids team. If you guys do have it, let me get it. I would love to get my hands on it. But they're going to intimidate me. Not really do too much here. Um... I think it's just protecting Superior here. I have Covert Cloak on my on my Thunder, which is nice. So yeah, I'm definitely thinking of just protecting Superior. And maybe just slowing down Pokemon, or I can just Eerie Impulse to Flutter me. Ooh, that could be good. And then Terrastalize Fire. And maybe start sending Leaf Storms. Options. We have options here. We definitely want to Eerie Impulse to what's called. Uh... The flutter mean so that's exactly what we're gonna do we're gonna put it minus two and i'm just gonna protect i'm just gonna protect you i don't i don't feel like wasting a turn to maybe getting faked out and taking out some damage so let's just protect the superior especially a lot of people see it as a threat now knowing that it does look contrary a lot of people see it as a threat so i think they are gonna fake out that slot i'm just putting up protect if they choose to fake out the thunder slot we have the covert cloak as our item lovely 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 but if i could pull off this eerie impulse real quick that'd be real nice but they're going to go turn one Terra. I'm guessing that's Fluttermane, right? It is Fluttermane. Awesome. We love that. So we're going to make this thing minus two on special attack. That's a huge start for us. It's a huge start for us. It's a great start for us. The Protect comes out from the lovely Grass Sneak. Serpent, I should say. And Fake Out goes into this slot, which is totally fine. We got that Covert Cloak. All day Covert Cloak. Your Impulse now flies. Minus two on special attack. We're going to get cooking. Moonblast is going to come into the Serpent slot. Yep. Awesome. Yo, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So now from here, I could just Scary Face. And I think that's more so going to be my play. Just go Scary Face and Leaf Storm. Terra Leaf Storm. We got to remember to Thrasilize. Because if not, Incineroar's dropping a big time Flare Blitz into us. And I'm not trying to deal with that. So we'll Thrasilize here. We already have Flutter Main minus two. I could have put it minus two again. But I really want to boost my superior speed. The scary face normally lowers special attack by minus two. 
But in this case, we're going plus two. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Scary face gonna come out here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Plus two on that stat. Leaf Storm coming in hot here. Dealing some nice damage, but more importantly, putting us plus two on special attack. That's when Gleam's gonna come across. Uh, I don't think it's doing that much damage to my superior, right? Yeah. Literally nothing. And I think you're going for Flare Blitz. Yep, this is exactly why I took last last. The big time terror from us. We do have leftovers, which is gorgeous. And from here, I think we just Giga Drain the Flutter Mean, right? We try to get back some HP at this point. And I'll boost your special attack again. How about that? How about that, right? Giga Drain into Eerie Impulse into our own Pokemon. Might as well give it another free plus two. But he's just gonna, just gonna end up protecting. That's totally fine. Are you just going for another? Are you just going for another flare? What's I wonder where you're going for? Your knockoff, maybe? Taking off my leftovers? Could be the option. Could definitely be the option. I'm curious to see. No, you're just gonna go for flare boots in this slot, which you might die. No, you survive. Okay. A lovely little survive there. Um I don't really need to slow down the flutter. I mean, I'm just gonna stick with Giga Drains into that slot. They want to swap it, they could swap it. I think maybe we just want to I guess Thunderbolt you. Yeah, I mean I mean that works. <laughs> that works fine. And then we'll Giga Drain into the Flutter Main slot, keeping the pressure on that Pokemon and trying to get some HP back, right? We want to get some HP back. He ends up trying to go for double protect and flutter main. Luckily it fails. Massive Giga Drain's gonna KO it, and more importantly, bring Superior back up in HP. Awesome, yo. This Pokemon is thriving. Really thriving right now. Really thriving, especially with the Terror type. I even said it in the beginning, I said Contrary and the Terror type is going to make this Pokemon very good. Very viable. And so far it is. We send a Thunderbolt with Thunderous, doing decent damage, but we don't get the Paralyze. Hands up Flare Blitz and KO my Thunderous, but that Pokemon already did insane amount of work. We now got a plus four special attack superior with plus two speed. What more do you want? What more could you guys want? He's going to Stitches Berry up. I think now's a good time to maybe bring out Suicune. Right? Did I bring Suicune? Actually, I kind of forget who I brought, to be honest. I'm kind of hoping I brought Suicune at this point. I'm really hoping. Let's see. Yeah, we did bring Suicune. Okay. So, yeah. Now we're going to go into Suicune. We're going to save that Flutter main for late game. Really good Pokemon with the booster energy. And we'll see what we can get done here. Because they don't have Terra anymore. They're now going to go into Ninetales and set the sun. So the sun comes out. Oh, this is actually a little tough. It's a little tough. I think I still drop Leaf Storms, right? Try to go plus six. Definitely the best bet. We'll go for a Scald into you, and I'm just going to start ripping Leaf Storms. Leaf Storms going to do more damage than the fire move. Look at that, base 130. Might as well start attacking. Let's do it. Let's do it. Leaf Storm going to come out here. How much damage is it going to do? Oh my lord, still still cranking out damage with this thing. Still cracking out damage. And he puts me to sleep. No. And no, my one my one goodie. My one good Pokemon who's gonna get work done for me. Put me to sleep. How dare you? Scald fly superior. It is getting negated by the suns. And he's gonna party shot. Probably in the Venus right here. So they dropped my special attack, they dropped my attack, and now I am slumped. How dare you? How dare you? Yeah, we definitely should have brought in a different Pokemon. The Sun Squad kind of rips us. But Fluttermane, not bad. Fluttermane's not bad. I like Fluttermane. I like Fluttermane. Venusaur now comes out here. We still should outspeed Venusaur. I know we're asleep right now, but we still should outspeed Venusaur. And to be honest, I'm just going to keep tanking up shots into Venusaur. And if I can land a Terror Blast, I'm going to throw it that way as well. So now they have two sleep users on the field. Hypnosis with nine tails, sleep powder with Venusaur. If you if you sleep spam me to win this game, I'm gonna be so upset. I'm gonna be so upset. One's enough, one's enough. So I'm slumped here. He's gonna oh end up be rocking earth power. Oh, that's deadly. That's deadly. That just put me out pretty much. That pretty much just put me out. That also goes for a fire spin. I dodge it. Hold up. There's still a shot here. Ice beam gonna get cooking. Not bad damage. Can we freeze? Nah, we don't get freeze. And can I wake up here? One turn sleep. That's asking for a lot. That's definitely asking for a lot. I'm gonna stick with the ice beam here. 
And again, go for his Terra Blast. Yeah, we're gonna go for Terra Blast here. Alright, wake up. Nah, we're slumped. So sleep coming in clutch for them. We're still not sitting in a terrible spot. Because we do have Flutter main. But we'll see. They definitely they definitely made some good plays here to bring them right back in this match. That sleep was massive. Hypnosis coming out here. Fire Spin's gonna land. Not a bad move because it's just gonna do Pester damage after every single turn. And I get to now throw another Ice Beam into the Venusaur. Which is almost KO. Lovely. The so Fire Spin chunking up. Um, Flutter me. Can you... Are you booster energy and speed? I really need you to be. And you're not. You're special attack. That really hurts. So you know what? I'm just gonna protect the Flutter Main this turn. Do I protect the Flutter Main this turn? I was gonna say, I'm gonna protect the Flutter Main and set up a Tailwind, but if he goes for like Leaf Storm or something, oh, that could be rough. That could definitely be rough. Maybe do I just Scald? And go into like a Dazzling Gleam? How many turns left in Sun? Let's actually check that out. Two turns left in Sun. We're just gonna attack here, because we can double protect next turn and waste out the last turn of Sun. So I'm gonna Scald. I'm just gonna Dazz and Gleam. I could protect Flutter Beam, but mm, you might put me to sleep. Go for a Solar Beam. So yeah, you were just taking out... You were just taking out my... Oh, you go after Flutter Beam. Hold up. That's not bad. That's not bad at all, because you should die out to that. We're gonna die out to this Dazzle Gleam. Ninetales, what are you going for? What are you going for? Can you go after my Suicune? You put my Suicune to sleep. How dare you? How dare you? But I keep Flutter me. That's big. They do not KO my Flutter me. That's big. So now I could waste out the sun. I could just protect Flutter me. They can't fake me out. And I get to rip a Dazzle Gleam. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. And Sinor comes back out here. Wow, this is going to be close, close. This is going to be close. Because I don't think... I don't think... I don't think uh, Dazzling Gleam can KO the, uh, the Incineroar here. It might KO the Ninetales. Ninetales is pretty bulky, but I'm going to launch it again. Let's see how this one plays out here. We do KO the Ninetales. Incineroar stays alive. So the problem here is if it KOs my Flutter main. But it might just have to go to for a Flare Blitz in order to KO my Flutter main. I actually hit this thing one more time. He ends up going for the Flare Blitz, and I actually might KO yourself with Recoil. This was such a good match. This was such a good match. Let's see. Recoil damage for the win? No, they survived the recoil damage. Alright. So, spam Scald until we wake up, right? Only way. And we wake up here. There we go. Good game. Good game. See you later, Incineroar. That was such a good game. Such a good game. Superior coming in clutch for us. They end up countering it late game, but we clutched up with Suicune and Fluttermane. Final match on its way, and we only have 30 seconds to pick. We only have 30 seconds to pick. It's all good. It's all good. We're going up against a top tier Trick Room user with Rhyperior. Rhyperior is phenomenal in Trick Room, but I got to pick right here right now and i'm gonna go superior we're trying to use this pokemon as much as i can and iron hands is going to be a great pokemon for this team so i'm gonna go iron hands i'm gonna go superior i'm gonna bring incineroar in the back end and last but not least i think flutter is just always solid it's just always such a solid pokemon so i'm gonna bring a flutter main and we're gonna lock it in so we're two and out let's look to go three and out here and sweep today's video with contrary superior this pokemon has actually been a lot of fun it definitely has been a lot of fun, but I cannot wait for the next Pokemon I'm going to use. Let me know in the comment section down below what Pokemon you guys want to see me showcase next. I got a couple Pokemon ready to go, but I'm also looking for like Blastoids teams, Lapras teams, all different Pokemon in uh, Regulation F. So if you guys do have teams, make sure you guys get them to me, whether it be in the comment section down below or sending me a DM over on Twitter. There's a link to my Twitter down in the description below. But they end up going Cincino, and that's the Pokemon's name that we couldn't figure out in the beginning, alongside with Chandelure. So Shandle Pop comes out here. Shandle can go Trick. You could go Trick Room. You could go Trick Room. And you know what? I'm just going to Leaf Storm to get the plus on the attack. And actually, you know what? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to Terrasilize. We're going to pop a Leaf Storm. And I think you're going to pop Trick Room, right? 
And if you pop trick room, you pop trick room. It's not that big of a deal. I'm just gonna fake out this Pokemon here. Okay. Okay, okay. So what I think is gonna happen here is this Cincino's gonna maybe have like a follow me move. I don't know too much about it, but I think it's gonna have like a follow me move. And he's just gonna set up trick room with a Chandelure. If he doesn't set up with the trick room with the Chandelure, I'm actually gonna be very happy, but I just think that's really what's going on here. So we end up... Okay, cool. We end up just faking out the Cincino and him not popping trick room. That's massive. That's massive. We pull off a nice terror type with our superior, and then we pick up a KO and go plus two on special attack. Yo, I love this Pokemon. This Pokemon with fake out users is just insane. We're pairing it up next to Thunderous like we did in match number two. It's just absurdly strong. Absurdly strong. So we get some leftovers HP. We have lovely typing right now, and Sableye's gonna come out here. Now, Sableye can fake us out. So you know what? I'm just gonna protect. He knows I'm plus two on attack. I'm just gonna protect. And you know what? I'm just gonna wild charge into this thing. Getting off as much damage as I can. So protecting the superior, name of the game. And he's probably faking us out there, right? No, you're going for a skill swap. You're not taking my skill away. I'll tell you that much. Actually, you might be able to next turn. Trying to take my skill. <laughs> trying to take my contrary away. What, are you going to give me prankster? What you got? What, what skill are you holding on to? It's got to be prankster, right? The wild charge is going to do a great amount of damage, but not nearly enough. Do I go for the double protect here? Do I potentially go for the double protect? I don't want to lose this ability. I really don't. You know, we'll just go for Giga Drain in that slot and we'll heavy slam the Sableye just so we don't take recoil. He took our ability. How dare you? Getting rid of Contrary. We do have Prankster though. Okay, whatever. Not that big of a deal. And you're going to go for another Heat Wave. Who both my Pokemon are dodging. Wow. Wow. We love it. We love good RNG. Giga Drain still doing a decent chunk. That we're plus two. And we're going to go back up to full HP. Dude, we are just lighting it up with this Pokemon today. Killing it. Killing it. Heavy Slam says, bye bye, Sableye. Get on out of here. And we're down to our final two Pokemon. I love the casual ladder too. The casual ladder is so much fun. Because you just be playing up against a bunch of cool Pokemon, learning a lot about the game, and just having fun. Whereas like ranked, it's just like you're going up against the same Pokemon every time and really sweating it out. So if you just want to relax, hop on the casual ladder. I'm telling you guys, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. But from here, we're gonna rip a Terra Blast, plus two Terra Blast, and I'll just wild charge the Chandelure. I will wild charge the Chandelure. And we'll see what the new High Drapple wants to do, but superior huge threat huge threat another heat wave flies through here superior was back up to full hp so it soaks it up no problem terra blast gets cooking and almost chaos the high a little bit more than half wild charge flies chandelure see it later get it on out of here we might it looks like we're gonna sweep this match right unless you're ripping hydro pump you could be ripping hydro pump a lot of them do no you got earth power and we survive Earth Power was the killer of us last game. But we survived that one. Get some leftovers HP and wrap it up. He has no first turn priority moves. I'm just gonna send a, send a Terra Blast. And that's gonna be game set match. A 3-0 perfect record. We're sweeping out today. No problem. Are they gonna cancel the battle? I think so. I would. But that's gonna be sweet for us. And they're gonna stay in here and terrestrialize. Alright, so they want their Hydrapple to die. Unless you're Water Terra. Are you? Please don't tell me you're Water Terra. You little biscuit, yo. Water Terror is gonna stop the sweep? Come on, man. You don't gotta do me like that. You don't gotta take my sweep away. Unless Terror Blast is still KOing. I don't, I doubt it, but I wouldn't be surprised if it does. Oh my lord. So close. So close, man. Oh, but my Iron Hand's outspeed. Awesome. So we get the sweep. Beautiful. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 3 0 perfect record and a sweep in match number three. Do yourselves a favor. See that rental code in the top right-hand corner? Copy that, put it in, and rent this team right now. This team, so much fun to use. I'm telling you guys, you won't regret it. You will have so much fun. Or if you're watching this when rank comes out, use this team for rank. I feel like it's definitely viable, and Superior is going to be a pretty solid Pokemon when rank comes out. Contrary makes it insane. Adding a Terror-type makes it even better. 
just so good. We paired it up with Thunders today, paired it up with the fake out users in Sinor and Iron Hands, and just set that Pokemon up in all three matches. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.